overwhelming, honestly. And if you are new, hello and welcome. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And before I get started, I'm going to ask you guys all to do me a huge favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also please share this video with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And before I do, I just want to apologize. Um, some of the audio in this video got kind of cut out. I don't really know what happened. I just jumped in to start editing editing the video this weekend and there was no intro so that's why I'm doing the voiceover. <laughs> so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this video. I am calling this the bright lights, the Christmas lights video because the bright colors that I chose really just remind me of Christmas lights and I did not use the James Charles palette for this look. You will see what palettes I used in the video. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So first and foremost, I'm super, super happy because I got new brushes. So these don't really have a brand name. I got them off the Wish website. All they were labeled as were rose gold brushes. Um, I can already tell they're not the best quality because as you can see, there already is some fraying. I washed them last night very gently with just my hand and there is already some hairs that are, I've been pulling out. So they're not the best quality, but then again, I only spent seven bucks on them. So, I mean, I can't be mad at $7 brushes fraying because they, they, were, they were seven bucks. But I am going to test these out to see how they work. And to make this more interesting, I'm also gonna be trying out a brand new product. So, for this eye, I'm going to be using my NYX eyeshadow base, which is like my holy grail favorite base. And on this eye, I'm going to be using my brand new P. Louise base. This is Rumor 05. I've heard a lot of good things about this product, that it's supposed to be like the best eyeshadow primer out there. So we're going to see. I'm very, very excited to see the difference, how it works and all that. So, I just got this in the mail on Monday. I haven't even used it yet. So. I am excited. So I'm gonna use the brightest palette that I own, which is the Take Me Back to Brazil with the BH Cosmetics. And you know, I have had my ups and downs with this palette, but it just takes some working to get used to the palette because I'm not used to bright colors. I'm not normally, I'm more of a purple girl, but I've been trying to delve more into brighter colors. So I'm going to, to use this palette, do a different look than what I normally would do. But I mean, I, I still am gonna stick with the purples for this look, but I mean, you, you'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done. <laughs> so I'm gonna quit talking and get into this video. Like when I saw it in the bottle, I knew it was going to be a thicker base, but I was not expecting it to be so creamy. Um, I'm going to get a my beauty blender and blend this in. So I'm going to take this smaller beauty or the smaller blending brush and I'm going to pick up this shade right here and then we are just going to start working it up and blending it out. I'm my little buddy here just in case. I'm not really seeing much color payoff with these brushes unfortunately. I'm not really happy with how that blend looks up here. So I'm gonna take this bigger blending brush and I'm gonna try to blend that out a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on this eye. So with this one, I am going in more of a circular motion, but I'm also patting it on at the same time. All right, so now we're gonna take that bigger blending brush, pick up the same purple shade, and just try to pat that back in there to bold up the color a bit while still blending it into it. Kind of hard to say right now for sure which side looks better but it seems to me like this side is definitely a lot darker than this side all right now we are going to darken this up a bit and for that i am taking this brush and we are going to pick up this dark purple right here and we're going to pat that kind of into the crease so we're just doing a patting motion to build that into the crease without going on the lid 
very, very gently, we're doing some gentle circles to build that up to the brow bone. So we still wanna have that light pink up here, but we, we are gonna build up that dark purple. Okay, so I took that dark purple and I just kind of patted it into there and blended it up. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And again, we're just doing back and forth motions. So I definitely see a difference now between the P. Louise eye and the NYX eye. I feel like the more I rub shadows on this side, it's starting to rub away. But this just keeps getting brighter and brighter. I'm loving it. So we are going to take a flat shadow brush like this one. And we are going to pick up an orange. Um, this one looks red on the palette, but when you swipe it, it is more of like a burnt orange. So we're gonna pick up this orange right here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to fill in the eye, but we're gonna leave a halo in between. So in the middle. And you can blend that up into the purple if you want. Okay, so same thing on this eye. My halo eyes always end up crooked. I hate it every time. All right, so we're going to take a different flat brush. I'm gonna pick this one. And I'm going to pick up a brighter orange. And that is this one right here. And I'm just gonna blend that into the first orange. And that should make it look a little bit more neon, I'm hoping. Okay, we're gonna take that same brush that we we're using for the purple and we're gonna pick that purple up again and just fix that crease and blend the red shade into it. So now for the finishing touch, that little center halo, we are going to put a little bit of some brightness in there, a little bit of a pump. So we want it to pop, you know what I mean? So I'm going to take this longer flat brush. So I know I always end up jumping into this palette, but it's one of my favorite palettes. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Yes, it has fallout. Yes, the powders. But at the same time, these shadows are so pigmented. So we're pick going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and we are going to pick up this shimmery teal right here and we're gonna pop that into that halo so I'm going to take a little bit of glitter glue and just plop that into my halo we're gonna take that blue from the Jaclyn Hill palette and plop that in right there Like these are such weird colors, but they work. And it, I, I feel like this works. All right, so I'm picking up that flat brush again and I'm going to jump into that neon orange and we're just going to touch up the cut crease. Or the, the we're just gonna touch up the halo eye a little bit. We don't want to take away from the look, but we do want it to be clean, you know? Now for under the eyes, I'm going to take this angled brush and I'm gonna pick up the darker purple and just buff that out underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna go do my liner and lashes and all that and then I will come right back and let you guys know my final thought. Okay, so I put my lashes on. I did not put liner on because I did not feel like this look needed it, which is so weird for me to say because I always have liner on, but I didn't want it. So 
So I don't think this look is done yet. There's something missing and I think I know what it is. So I'm gonna hopefully not mess this look up. I'm going to get into my Lysa Drag palette because this has my favorite yellow and you guys know I love yellow. So we're gonna take Campy, which is this yellow shade right here. We're just going to try to blend that into the crease without messing anything up. I still am gonna add a little bit of gold into my inner corner just to kind of pop it a bit more. So I'm taking um, my ColourPop Karachi, uh, my ColourPop Her palette, and I'm going to pick up Lassie, which is the gold highlighter. And I'm just gonna plop that in my inner corner. Give it a bit more of a shine. Okay, so looking at both eyes, um, it is really, really hard for me to choose which one looks better. If I had to pick one, I would probably say this eye looks a bit brighter than this one. I don't know. It's so hard to choose one. I don't know. It's so hard to choose one because I think they both look really, really pretty. The colors worked perfectly. I'm in love with how these colors look. I'm going to say this eye because I feel like, especially up here, it stayed brighter than over here. It kind of just like got muddy, the pink and the purple. So yeah, the P. Louise eye is the winner for this, I think. Let me know down below which eye is your favorite because I did the same thing on both eyes. I didn't do anything different. The only thing different was the base. So in the comments down below, let me know if you think the P. Louise P. Louise eye looks better or if you think the NYX eye looks better. As for the brushes, they're not horrible brushes at all, but they don't really like move much. I don't know. I feel like they may be too soft because they're very very soft but they're not very condensed like I'm gonna take this one and compare it to my dirty ass morphe brush you can definitely see the difference you see how this one kind of flares out more and this one just kind of stays straight there's definitely more bristles in this one than there are in the wish brush like you, you clearly, clearly can see the difference between the two. I wouldn't say I wouldn't suggest these brushes to anybody, but I would just say do your homework. Um, know what you're getting into. These would be probably best for someone who's just getting started, who wants to start building their brush collection, but doesn't want to spend a bunch of money. So yeah, let me know down below which eye you think looks better, the P. Louise eye or the NYX eye. I honestly think the P. Louise eye looks a bit better, or the plus. Yeah, it's P. Not Louise. So the P. Louise eye, I think, looks a lot better and brighter than the NYX eye. The NYX eye kind of got muddy up on the crease, so I want to know what your thoughts are. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you the next one. Love you. Bye.